First, let's start with the egg. Get yourself a high quality egg because high quality eggs taste better. Number two, you want to make sure that the egg is left out of the fridge for I'd say maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You want to get it close to room temperature. Why? Because when you put a cold egg on a hot pan, it doesn't cook correctly. It's trying to get all that heat into that cold egg and what it does is it, it tends to overcook one side. This way, you'll have a beautiful egg. So the first step is go ahead and get that egg to room temperature for about 15 minutes. Here's the second step. Now you can crack this directly into the pan, but a lot of people who are messing up cooking a fried egg over easy, sunny side up, whatever, they tend to crack it in the pan and then what happens is it breaks in the pan. This method will make it so it doesn't break in the pan. What you want to do is you want to, when you crack an egg, you never want to crack it against a hard edge. You want to go ahead and crack it against a solid surface. Like that. And then pull it open and let it pour into your bowl. Now you're asking, why is it in a bowl? Why don't I just crack it in the pan? The reason it is in the bowl is because what we're going to do is we're going to gently put it into the pan. Remember, a lot of people have a problem with it breaking in the pan. This will alleviate that. Next, you want to test your pan by just using a little bit of butter. And you want to make sure that it is ready to go by just how the butter reacts in the pan. What you have there is a nice little sizzle. If you're getting bu bubbles around it, then you're good to go. What we're doing is we're slow cooking the egg here. We're not going to overcook it. We're going to gently cook it so it'll be a perfect over easy egg. So once that point has come, now you just do is take a little extra butter. I personally like a lot of butter. It's up to you. And you butter your pan. You can do two eggs, three eggs, four eggs, but we're going to do one here. So now you're saying, well, that pan doesn't look hot enough. What's going on? Remember, we're gently cooking this egg to make sure it cooks exactly how you want it. You can add less butter if you'd like to. It's completely up to you. Now what you want to do is just put your egg in there, just like that. The beauty of this technique is you're not going to burn the egg because it's cooking too hot on one side. Just a beautiful side, nicely cooked, and then turning it over and it'll just cook gently on the other side. And you have a beautiful egg. I'll show you at the end. So we're leaving it on this side for about a minute, minute and a half. It really just depends on your heat, but more like a minute and a half. And uh, we're going to get to the point to where it's almost cooked on this side here, which you can see. It's been about, I'd say, a minute. So let's just give it another 15, 30 seconds. Let's keep an eye on it. We don't want this top to be completely cooked all the way, but we can see the outside's cooking nicely because we want that yolk, that delicious yolk, and we don't, we don't want any hard spots. All right, we are officially at the point of flip. You can see there's still some loose stuff there, but everything around the outside is nice and set. So you want to take your spatula. Put it underneath and flip it. Now look at this side. Perfectly cooked, right? Nothing about that side is overcooked or burnt. And we're going to do the other side for about maybe 45 seconds. That's about it. It's really, really easy to do. A lot of the cooking happened on the first side, so we're just finishing it off on the second side. All right, so after about 45 seconds here, our egg is done. Let's pull it off. Let's put it on our plate. This is the moment of truth. This is where everybody says, all right, prove it. Put your money where your mouth is. Let's make sure it's fully cooked. Nobody likes a watery egg. Check this out. Ready? There you go. There's your egg, there's your beautiful yolk. Everything is completely cooked. And that's how you do it, nice and simple. Thank you so much for watching, have a good day. I'm gonna eat this and I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.